Nebraska heads to Purdue. Purdue, a 10.5 point home dog here. Total of 47.5 on this one. And Nebraska beat at home last week by Illinois. Probably should have won the game. Missed a few field goals, etc. Uh, have not gotten a status update on the kicker, whether or not he's going to be back. But you look at some of these numbers, I don't know that it will necessarily matter because I think Dylan Rayola is going to have a clean pocket. Um, and we'll go from there. Let's let's just take a look at this. Uh, Purdue's defense is number 116 and have it created. They are they're not good against the run, so you know Nebraska is going to try and run the football quite a bit, I would imagine. Uh, number 133 PPA per rush allowed for Purdue's defense. For Nebraska, I mean, they're throwing the ball over 50% of the time, but why would you do that against a Purdue defense that's number 12 in PPA per pass? Now, part of that is the fact that teams are only throwing the ball 30% of the time against them. That's because they don't have to throw the ball. They can run it. 133, that is next to last in PPA allowed per rush, predicted points added per rush. Uh, stuff rate's not good for Purdue, number 120, or sorry, number 86, number 124 in offensive line yards allowed. Uh, look, five factors plus talent rank. I've got Nebraska 38. I've got Purdue number 82. This one's fairly simple for me. Go ahead and give me Nebraska. Uh, I found a 10 out there, so give me Nebraska minus 10 on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.